Hey guys, I recently got a chance to go to Fort Lauderdale with Jordan for another Hylus tour. So this is going to be a tour of the Hylus 60 and this boat is truly incredible. We want to take a brief moment to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps us out. Thanks in advance and let's get to the tour. We just stepped aboard this Hylus 60. It's a beautiful ship, so we're excited to show you. We're gonna take a walk around the deck. We're starting on the starboard side. We're gonna come back to this enormous cockpit in a little bit. Dual lifelines, a nice long stainless steel handrail. These lifelines seem a little bit higher than normal too. So almost to my hip, pretty high. We've got rod rigging. We've got our main mast here, all lines running back. We've got a hydraulic boom bang, a hydraulic furler, and a hydraulic outhaul as well, I believe. In mast furling. I saw you pointed out the lines, but I like this feature that they're going into the deck, so your deck space is clear. I do too, as well. No lines on deck, that's a good thing. Nothing to trip over. Yes. So there's a couple opening hatches on the cabin top and also here on the fore deck. But look at this deck. We've so got nice. a massive flush fore deck with flush hatches as well. Just nothing to trip over, just a nice area to hang out on. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. And I think because of this reason right here, this is my favorite Hylus. I like just the open area. You have tons of space to lay out, read a book, do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a cutter rig with hydraulic furling on both. Very, very nice and necessary on a boat this size. <laughs> Going forward, looks like we have two four deck hatches here. Let's see what's inside. Oh, a windlass. There's your anchor windlass. That's nice. I didn't even think about having it off deck like that. Yeah, I really like that. That's a nice feature. Not having that big windlass taking up all that space right there. And then the aft. Wow, that is a massive locker. Huge four deck locker. You want to get down in there? And... Yeah. What's it like down there? Uh, really deep. <laughs> it's taller than I am, so it's very uh, spacious. I want to see this because I do think this is a watertight bulkhead. It's a little dark, so it's hard to see. But you've got quite a large chain locker down in here as well and access to the hydraulic system. So massive amounts of storage in the foredeck of this boat. Very, very nice, as well as that crashed watertight bulkhead forward of that. There's space to hang uh, whatever you need to. They've got nice organized lines down here, things like that. Plenty of room. Awesome. I want to thank Randy for being the way that we're going to measure scale in the video. <laughs> and she can even get in and out in a dress. All right, so self tacking, which is awesome. Always prefer that if you can get it. <laughs> and then we've got lines going through the deck again. I'm interested to see exactly where they come out. That's good. So if you need to service the blocks for these lines, they have access panels here. Yeah, there's one here on the port side as well as one on the starboard side over there. Because that is something, if they're tucked away, you wanna still be able to access and service them. I don't think we mentioned how wide these side decks are oh, yet. Oh, no we didn't. Yes, yeah, so that very wide side decks. Now we've got this enclosure right here. We've got a large gray Dodger looks really nice and then a very large Bimini behind that. So we've got a nice big protected cockpit that we're going to be looking at. But I think we're going to go back to the helm stations and the stern and then we'll come forward from that. 
There's an additional bimini here. It uh, looks like it's separated so you have control of the main sheet. Yep. And I'm wondering if this is more access to the lines. Do you want to be able to access them in multiple places? And then they come out right here, right before the helm. We've got all of our lines running back to the cockpit. We've got dual helms. We've got five electric self-tailing winches, lines coming out there and there. And I think for a 60-foot yacht, I think this is probably about as easy to shorthand as it'll get. What do you think, Randy? I think so too. I see it has a bow thruster, which would definitely make a difference for that. And you've got your chart plotter, engine controls, and autopilot. You've got even control of these winches, which are nicely labeled. Access to your VHF right at hand very well laid out yep and then you've got multi-function displays on both the helms that will display anything you want to display you've got wind instruments i believe up there but we'll get to that in a little bit these could be wind instruments as well behind the helms what we got we have a bilge pump with a manual ability as well and on this side we have a propane locker source two tanks and what about down here? And down here, I have not looked yet. Let's see. Pretty big storage compartment. Yeah. All right. Looks like we've got hydraulic backstays on each side. We've got seating in the aft section as well. We've got some Dyneema rigging on the aft end of the boat. And a very nice large transom and I believe that is a dinghy garage the dinghy goes back under there looking forward and we're gonna finally go into that Hi. massive cockpit <laughs> stepping up a little bit and then stepping down you gotta watch my head <laughs> giving you guys a 360 view this would be a great Great place to spend a passage. And you have your companion way. And Jordan mentioned there are some wind instruments up here as well. Let's go down below. These steps are at a really good angle. They're not steep at all. Easy to walk down. And then looking forward from that, we've got this beautiful, beautiful interior. And I'm just going to stop talking right now and give you a 360. All right, what do you think, Randy? It's beautiful. I love the combination of materials that they've used down here. It's very stunning. Now this is a custom designed interior. This is actually an upgrade. This is a beautiful interior and it's obviously light wood with some uh, darker wood accents. I absolutely love it. Randy absolutely loves it. So this is a good piece to kind of look at and see what materials they used in the interior and how they combine together. I think it looks great. So we're in the salon currently. We have a nice L-shaped settee with the table here. You have another settee on the starboard side. Lots of storage up behind here. This boat does have AC, so you can see some ventilation there and behind the other settee as well. On the port side, behind the settees or to the aft, you have this forward-facing nav station. I really like this up there, and I like that bookshelf behind it as well. <laughs> and obviously this nav station is very clean, and that's because the AC panel, the DC panel, all the electrical panels, that is all digital on this boat. And it can be controlled literally from an iPad right there. So you're looking at controls for the systems in this boat. Now, it is digital, but it does have manual backups as well, and I believe those can be found in this engine room. Got a locking door. We got a beautiful, beautiful engine room right here. Volvo diesel. 
batteries forward of that awesome engine access and there are the distribution panels the manuals that I was talking about manual backups for the digital and you got a gen set behind the diesel right there so beautiful engine and generator beautiful engine room tons of sound insulation I have been on these boats before with the engine on and you can't barely hear the engines running the only way you know is if you look at the tachometer we're gonna go ahead and see what's under the set to use here right. so we've got a little compartment here so we've got some storage under the set to there it's likely you're gonna have one under each cushion and then on the L shape, so it's actually one long compartment, but just two access panels. More storage. And then I think you've got the same story with the starboard side here. As you can see, I kind of opened it up there. We've got more storage again, so very nice. Because I think with this boat, all of the tankage and everything is going to be below us. And we're going to look at that in a second. Here we have the water tanks, one on each side. Nice and low in the boat. For your center of gravity and then back here you have access to the fuel tanks diesel tanks again low on the boat nice battery down there as well in the salon you've got multiple hand holds in various places so that if you should come into some weather you have places to grab should you need to This is a keel step mast? Yeah, so this is the, you know, the mast right here. And you can see through this window right there, it's going up through the deck. Mm -hmm. There are additional hatches in the floorboards in various places. This one happens to access a battery bank. On the port side, you have your first set of berths. It's a bunk. Very nice. Directly to starboard from that cabin, you have the head and shower, which is accessible through both cabins. Yeah, exactly. I, and I love seeing that in these mm -hmm. types of boats. So this forward head's accessible. It's going to be your day head. It's also going to be the head for the forward cabin. Go ahead and step all the way in so you can show them the shower. There's me and the baby. Looking aft, there is a separate shower as well for this head. Very nice. Right, let me spin forward again. Coming into the V berth, you have an island berth. Makes it feel very spacious in here. Very powerful AC here and tons of storage. Very, I mean, this is a forward cabin. I, would, I wouldn't even consider it a V-Birth at this point. That's true. Oh, that's nice. Below the bed, we've got drawers. And then you've got some nice storage on both sides of this cabin up top as well. Very nice. Continuing to go aft, we're going to go back through where you have both cabins and head. Back through the salon. We talked about the nav station on the port side, and then on the starboard side, we have the galley. It is a galley style galley. What do you think? It's very nice. I like how it's still part of the salon. Like if you were in here cooking, you wouldn't feel separated from everyone, which is nice. So you have your gimbaled range. You have a ton of counter space, yeah. which is normally way more limited than this in a monohull. Yeah, this is a crazy amount of counter space. Yes. Both sides. Tons of storage, multiple cold food storage areas, as well as like a pantry essentially on each side. Yep. Pantries. Very large cabinets for some. 
for some stickers down here. Up there as well. I mean, everywhere you look in this boat is storage. But yet, somehow, it still looks so incredibly clean. So incredibly good. I just, I love the design of the interior, the finish work in this boat is amazing. Yes. Yeah, lots of cold storage right there, as Randy mentioned. All top of the line, full stainless fridges and freezers. So you can really, you know, load the boat up with food for a year yeah. <laughs> if you needed to. Coming back to the aft cabin, it is quite spacious. I'm just going to give you guys a quick pan. Because this boat carries most of its beam all the way aft, you get this massive aft cabin. So comfortable. And they're just on either side, there is the same little storage cabinet with hanging locker space. Got a little vanity right there. We've got a little set tea over there to hang out on if you're not hanging out on your bed. Yeah. Drawers but below the berth, which is nice for like bedding. The drawers down there, and then I think there's also drawers on this side as well. So just, you know, repeating what I said about earlier storage everywhere. Storage everywhere, yeah. Master en suite, head and shower. Beautiful. So, we've got our main, you know, sink and counter in the bathroom. Got me in the mirror. We've got our separate shower. Got the teak seat and teak bottom. We've got our electric head cabinet. Another little mini counter and then storage above. So, very large ensuite. What do you think, Granny? Very nice. Actually, once you went into the head, it made me think of what the interior design makes me think of. And it's like a spa, like a relaxing spa. Yeah. <laughs> the coloring. I like it. Yeah. So, even though, you know, you guys saw that we were able to access the engine room through the door that's right there, you can open up those companionway stairs and have even more access down there. So here's another good view. Just beautiful. <laughs> the tool for the companionway steps to open is securely put here so that you don't lose it. It's right next to where you need it. I just thought that was so <laughs> clever. <laughs> All right, and then I pull up some floorboards in the galley because some of you guys have been asking us to show more of the guts of the boat. So why not? Looks like we got some tankage right here. Looks like we got a lot of our plumbing valves accessible from this floorboard area. And then we've got some intake strainers. Looks like right there. All right guys, it's about that time again. Gonna be doing that continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. Let's go. Starting in the forward cabin. Turning aft. We got a massive forward cabin. Looking aft, looking to starboard, we've got our forward head and shower. Totally and completely accessible from both the forward cabin and from the main saloon. To port, we've got our bunks for some extra guests, some extra sleeping areas. Turning aft, we've got our beautiful highlight of the boat, main saloon. That custom designed interior, just bright and airy, lots of natural light. I mean, there's not a light on in this boat. This is oh, all yeah. just natural light. 
Beautiful. Going aft. Got our forward facing nav station right there. Very nice, clean, modern, digital distribution panel. So that really cleans up the space. But again, with analog backups. We've got our galley. Continuing on that very nice and clean feel. Massive amounts of dry storage, cold storage. Very functional galley. Galley style galley. Walking aft. And entering the massive aft cabin back here. And it's just beautiful. It's large, and it has tons of storage. You guys know we like that word. And then finally, our owner's ensuite head with our separate shower. I can spend so much time on this boat. I don't want to leave. Turn it aft. That's it, guys. So what did you think of this one, right? I really liked this boat. I thought the flush deck was a really like aesthetically pleasing but also super functional yeah. piece of this particular yacht. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes it so much easier to maneuver around the deck. It had wide side decks, obviously a very wide aft end as well. Um, so the exterior portion of the yacht was absolutely perfect. Yeah, even though it was technically an aft cockpit I guess you had aft helms mm -hmm. it still felt a lot like a center cockpit because that yeah. cockpit was so huge because it went so far forward on the boat and then even forward of that you had those you know that massive flush deck mm -hmm. that you know I agree with you I just I really like the idea of flush decks you know even the flush deck hatches the mm -hmm. lines were below the deck it was just super clean yes. nothing to trip over and I know with me aesthetically I love seeing sailboats that are you know, they have nice clean decks, you know, there's not a lot of stuff on the deck. And this is definitely a boat that you can go cruising with and you can keep that deck super flush, <laughs> super clean, because you have enough storage down below everything. Yeah, that's a huge pet peeve of Jordan. So I can <laughs> totally see why he likes that. And for me personally, it's just because I'm super clumsy. So yeah. having flush decks with flush hatches just means I'm not going to trip as much, which is nice. <laughs> I just, I would personally not have to have jerry cans and like yeah. different things on the deck and uh, spinnaker poles and whatnot, you know, it's just, it, A, it's a hazard and B, it just doesn't look good. Yeah, absolutely. So, and the fact that also this boat is designed to have a dinghy garage mm -hmm. in the aft end of it, that means you don't even need davits. The dinghy is stored away in that garage. So even the dinghy is not, you know, hanging off the back of your boat. The dinghy's not on your deck. Like it's, it's a beautiful beautiful boat very clean yeah. looking yeah absolutely from the outside and the inside so what did you think about the inside inside was beautiful uh, i don't think we mentioned in the video you'll probably notice some cushions were different colors and it's actually covers over those cushions yeah. so you can have them all match either uncovered or covered it's just a nice light uh, linen kind of color so they didn't want that to get dirty obviously um, so it's easy to throw covers over those. The light wood inside made it nice and bright and airy. Uh, I felt so open because, I mean, that, what's the beam on the boat? It's about 17 feet, I believe. And obviously the accommodations were incredible. So you had the bunks that on the port side heading forward and then you had I would say probably the nicest berth that I've ever seen in the bow of a boat. So that nice island berth, you said it not even to call it a V berth, I don't know what you would call it, but... Forward cabin. Forward cabin, <laughs> yes. It was very nice. Um, and then the aft cabin was just beyond. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beyond any expectations for an aft cabin, so... Yeah. This boat is expertly designed from the outside, bringing that down into the interior. The design of this interior, I don't know that I would do anything different in this boat like I don't think I would put any everything on the interior of this boat is perfect I mean yeah. from the nav station 
to the galley. I know you like Nook galleys, but... I do like a Nook galley, but they did a well-designed galley galley. Yeah, exactly. So, to the galley, to the aft cabin, to the two separate heads, to the forward head having access from the forward cabin, as well as from the salon to the massive salon. And also, the engine access was incredible. You had the access through the companionway stairs or around the companionway stairs through the door. Okay. So, tons of engine room access. The engine room looked large and easy to work in, so definitely a benefit. So I know we mentioned briefly in the video that this boat kind of has an upgraded interior, and that's actually because uh, an interior designer by the name of Hot Lab did the aesthetics on the inside of this boat. So the whole boat, including the inside, is designed by German Fairs, but it's like the aesthetics and the finishing and everything is designed by Hot Lab, which is, you know, an upgrade and that's really cool. And we certainly thought it looked amazing and mm -hmm. astonishing. You know, the light wood might not be everyone's cup of tea, but we really, really liked it. So, Randy, is there anything negative we can say about this boat? Um, I would really have a hard time thinking of something. I remember going through the storage under the settees and it was kind of separated a little bit, but that <laughs> could be said on a lot of yachts, so... There, there, basically, there's nothing negative. Yeah. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing boat. So we wanted to go ahead and thank Hylus for letting us tour this boat, and if you want any more information on the Hylus 60 or any of the other Hylus yachts, you can go to HylusYachts.com. So the starting price is going to be in the description below, as well as that link I just mentioned. There will also be some other links in the description as well. Be sure to check them out. And I think that is it, right? Alright, as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my lesson hanging on. Come sit here with me by the fire. And let it go for a